Mitchie. Thank you. Here you are. I am. You get out again. On this stage is your stage, really. It's I mean, alien little... to me being here. <laughs> um, uh, tell me a little bit about uh, Violet for you. Well, Violet for me. Um, as most of you would know, if you follow me on Facebook, something, I'm a huge theatre nerd. I've seen, I think, most shows on Broadway in the last 10 years. This is my favourite show of the last 10 years that, that, that's come out of Broadway. It's an incredible piece with incredible music and incredible story. I was saying the other day with some other guys, if Chekhov and Lena Dunham and Aretha Franklin got together to write a musical, this would be it. <laughs> that's fabulous. Sexually frank, highly dysfunctional people who sing like crazy bitches. So uh, it is a great show. It, it tells the story of a... Um, it doesn't sound hugely hilarious when I say it like this, but a, a young teenage girl who's been in a terrible disfiguring accident when she's young, who as an adult uh, travels across the American plains in search of a faith healer in the hope that the faith healer can heal her of this scar. No, the way, this sounds like a laugh a minute. Yeah, like... <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> but it's, it's kind of a metaphor for, for all of us. We're, we're, you know, we're all kind of in search of something that we think will, you know... A silver bullet that we can change about our lives and you know I've got no axe wound but I've got some nasolabial folds that need some big attention so uh, <laughs> you know we've all got our thing but uh, it is uh, <laughs> it's an, it's both it's a, and it's it's a road movie of a musical too it's a lot of it's set on the bus and she meets these two two soldiers and a love triangle ensues and it's it's tough and it's unsentimental and it's very very blackly funny and very beautiful and redemptive and I, be, I can't wait and it's your directorial debut as well you never directed is. anything before it is i mean i've always i've been asked to direct a few things but i've always thought that you know directors you know they're learned men and women who've you know with with glasses like barry kosky or sure. hal prince or deborah warner who, who've made their way and um a few months ago i actually had an eye test and <laughs> hey it's time now ladies and gentlemen so uh, <laughs> i can't wait